Hi folks, I hope that you guys are doing pretty well. Uh, so today is Monday, the 23rd of September 2024. And in today's video, I just wanted to talk to you, or go through with you rather, um, a couple of uh, proverbs here in the book of Proverbs, if you like, okay? Now, uh, the book of Proverbs is actually uh, the book of wisdom written by uh, former King Solomon, okay? Now, some of these proverbs, if you like, they actually uh, have a double application, or, or you could actually read them uh, as prophecies as well, and not just proverbs, okay? So, uh, if you head over to uh, Proverbs chapter 27, and you look at verse 18, for example, okay, and it reads, Whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof. So he that waiteth on his master shall be honored. Okay, now this is quite interesting. Um, oftentimes in the Bible, you know, the fig tree uh, refers to Israel. Uh, okay, so we can see here, you know, if you want to read this as a prophecy for Israel, you could actually apply, apply you know, the fig tree to Israel. And master, uh, you could, you know, uh, apply a double application, if you like, as Jesus the Messiah. Okay, so basically, if you wanted to, uh, you could actually read this proverb as if it's trying to say, uh, you know, hey, you, Israel, if you like, um, you know, if you keep your nation prosperous, okay, and follow the statutes of God, um, you know, you should reap your rewards, if you like, you know, the fruit thereof. Uh, so that, you know, if you, Israel, are white for your master, you know, that was Jesus the, Mas the Messiah, okay, then you're going to be honored at the end, if you know what I mean, you know. So you can actually read some of these proverbs, uh, you know, as a double application of prophecy, if you like, you know. So I think this is one of the clear ones, you know, that kind of like stands out, you know, of course there are others. Uh, and, um, you know, I'm going to show you another example, you know. Uh, so if you head over to Proverbs 28, verse 13, okay. Uh, here's another one, you know, on Proverbs 28, 13, prophecy for salvation. It says here, he that covereth his sin shall not prosper, but... Whoso confesses and forsaketh them shall have mercy, okay? Now, perhaps you could read this as, you know, um, he that doesn't come to Jesus for salvation, if you like, uh, shall not prosper. But, you know, whoso um, believeth uh, on Jesus and confesses, uh, you know, with his mouth uh, that he's the Messiah, if you like, or comes to Jesus, uh, shall be forgiven and have a last and have everlasting life, and so that's Jesus will give him mercy, you know, for his sins, you know, or atonement, uh, you know, for the sins if you like. So it's interesting how you can read some of these uh, proverbs if you like. It's actually prophecy, you know, uh, and of course there are many other examples here, you know, uh, but I just wanted to point there are two of them that sort of uh, make it very clear, if you like, that they do have a double application. Uh, if you actually do a bit of analytical thinking and, uh, you know, you try to apply a double application, you know, uh, and you think how that can be useful as well, you know. So I think this is a very classic one, you know. Keep the carrot, his sin shall not prosper. Of course, if you don't come to the blood of Jesus or salvation, you're not going to have eternal life, but if you confess him, if I, but whoso confess and forsake them shall have mercy. So in other words, if you come to the blood of Jesus and believe in him, okay, you, you're going to obtain mercy, you know, and eternal salvation. So I think this is quite interesting, folks, you know. All right, folks, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.